Welcome to the program. I'm your host, Neil Howard, here on Health Professional Radio. So glad that you could join us once again. Our guest is Dr. Jerry Tan. He's a board-certified dermatologist, and he's joining us on the program to talk about some exciting developments in the treatment of acne and um, hopefully in the reduction of the risk of uh, scarring as it relates to acne. Welcome to the program, Dr. Tan. Thanks so much, Neil. You are a board-certified dermatologist. Uh, Give us a little bit of background about your practice and uh, some of the patients that you typically see. I'm a general dermatologist and have practiced since 1991. I graduated from University of British Columbia and University of Michigan. And I've been practicing in Windsor, Ontario in Canada, which is right across from Detroit since 1991. I teach dermatology at the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry at Western University. And I have a research focus in acne and rosacea. What is acne, who does it affect, and how many of us are affected by acne? Acne is an inflammatory condition of the skin that's characterized by the pimples and pustules that are oftentimes associated with adolescence, particularly in Western societies. The condition itself is extremely common, and it affects upwards of 80% of people at some time in their lives, particularly in Western societies. In the USA, for example, acne affects up to 50 million people annually, and more than 40% of these will have readily visible acne scarring thereafter. This is an issue that makes the findings of this particular study important for dermatologists and those people who have acne. Um, Some of the problems with acne or challenges include timely access to care um, and encouraging adherence to therapy because everyone wants to see improvement as soon as possible, but therapy takes a while to work. Addressing psychosocial impact, which is often beyond visible severity, particularly in young people during uh, tumultuous times in their development, both psychologically spiritually as well as physically and then managing uh, the effects of inflammation and the leftover scarring and post-inflammatory changes are these are all challenges that we encounter on a day-to-day basis in practice now these challenges uh, you say particularly in in younger people are these challenges these these social things that are going on in their lives their developmental uh, process is that why someone isn't taking some action to to bring more awareness Awareness. I mean, it's such a common thing that it would seem that timely access to treatment would be the norm since pretty much everybody should be expecting some, uh, some dealings with acne. Why do you think that um, it's so difficult to get timely access to treatment? Well, oftentimes um, what happens is that patients may seek out uh, help and treatment, but the level of intensity of treatment might be inadequate for their level of severity of acne. And if inadequately treated, the ongoing inflammation that can then lead to increasing consequences, both from a psychosocial impact as well as from the perspective of damage to the skin uh, regarding scar and inflammatory changes. So it's really a matter of appropriate um, evaluation and then uh, addressing appropriate therapy for that level of severity. Once someone such as yourself properly diagnoses the uh, severity of a person's uh, uh, acne condition, what are some of the the traditional or or readily available treatments that um, are available? Well, treatment options for acne over the past um, almost three decades now can be conceived of in the following way with increasing severity, and they range from over-the-counter and prescription topicals. These are products used on the surface of the skin, such as cleansers, washes, medicated gels, and then the oral medications for increasing levels of severity or increasing regions of uh, involvement of acne include specific anti-inflammatory antibiotic pills. For women, often we also uh, look at the possibility of hormonal therapy. And then for the severe cases, a medication pill called oral isotretinoin. There are additional supportive options that have developed, including 
certain facials, light therapy, and laser procedures as well. So there's a, a new study that we uh, mentioned at the outset of this uh, conversation called the Oscar study. Let's talk a little bit about what the study entailed and what some of the findings revealed. Sure. The Oscar study focuses on a medication uh, termed Epiduo Forte, which is a combination of a retinoid called adapalene mm -hmm. and a, another active ingredient for acne called benzoperoxide. Both of them combined in a gel formulation to be used for a nightly application overnight. And this particular medication has already been proven and shown to be efficacious for the treatment of acne, both moderate and for severe acne. So it's, uh, it's already on the market in the U.S. for that indication. It's a combination of adapalene and benzoyl peroxide. Were these two ever used separately and now they've come together as a result of further study? Um, is one sometimes all that you need? Explain how the two became so beneficial together. How did you find that out? So the, uh, the two products independently are effective in treating acne, so adapalene by itself as well as benzoyl peroxide by itself. In combination, however, um, a lower concentration of adapalene had previously been found to be um, even more efficacious when combined with benzoyl peroxide, and that was the product called Epiduo. And the combination seemed to increase the improvement in acne spots more quickly and led to greater levels of overall improvement than either product alone or independently. So that was actually very nicely shown in some of the research studies quite a few years ago. The recent iteration of that product increases the concentration of adapalene from 0.1 to 0.3 percent, which is the FDO Forte. And this combination has shown to be efficacious not just in the mild and moderate acne forms that was previously demonstrated with FDO, but also in the moderate and severe acne, which has been shown to be efficacious with uh, F, uh, effectively treated with FDO Forte. So the combination does seem to work better than either, either agent alone, and we seem to be able to target increasing acne severities with the Forte version. Now, I, I did hear you mention that it could be used um, nightly. Is that what I'm understanding, nightly? How long uh, should the product be used before you start seeing some, uh, some benefits? Well, the, the product is uh, used and applied overnight, so it's applied before one retires for bed. And um, typically, we already start seeing improvement compared to vehicle by about the first to second week of therapy. So it does have quite a rapid onset of improvement. But, you know, it's, the thing is that for patients who want to see visible, uh, recognizable improvement that's relevant to them, it would probably be four to six weeks before they see that. And then it progressively improves at three months and then even further at six months. Oh, where can we go online and, and learn some more about this uh, this brand new product? This particular product, Epidio Forte, is online at its um, the website, Epidio Forte, as well as the particular study um, we were looking at is also online on the uh, website for the American Journal of uh, Clinical Dermatology. And the unique part about what was recently published was the fact that we didn't just look at acne, we looked at the scarring that was associated with acne. And that particular study was designed to evaluate the effectiveness of Epidio Forte in mitigating the acne scarring in the context of treating active inflammatory acne. And over a course of six months uh, in this half-phase study, what we found was the Epidio Forte was, of course, highly effective in reducing acne, but also importantly, 
it reduced the number of acne scars on the treated side compared to the vehicle side, and there was an, a significant escalation in patients who were achieving overall global improvement in acne scarring. So these findings suggest that timely and effective therapy of moderate and severe acne with epidural forte can mitigate not just acne, but the acne scars resulting from that ongoing inflammation and subsequent skin damage. Well, I thank you for coming in, some exciting information, some great news for acne sufferers, and I'm hoping that we'll uh, get some more information from you in the future. Thanks so much for coming in today, Dr. Jerry Tan. My pleasure. Thank you, Neil. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au and also at hpr.fm. You can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, listen in, and download at SoundCloud. And be sure and visit our affiliates page at hpr.fm.